What's up guys, Highly Theoretical, and I'm back today to share with you how to stream games from your PC to your cheap Chinese Android TV box. You can use it just like a NVIDIA Shield. Um, many of you might not know this, but it actually works very well. It doesn't work that well on um, very intensive games like Control or what else came out? Maybe like Skyrim, those are have a lot going on in the game and it it needs a, a heavier processor. You, one, you're going to need a very fast internet connection. So, um, and then two, it depends on how good the graphics processing unit inside the box is. That will determine what games you can play. So I'm going to um, show you how to do that. You only need two things. It's actually really simple. I don't even need to like show you. All you have to do is um, get on your PC, download GeForce Experience, look that up. Um, install it and it's basically the same process of streaming games from your computer to the NVIDIA Shield to use the same program. The only thing that's different is instead of using the in the built-in um, NVIDIA program that will be on the Shield, you're going to be using a program that is in the Play Store called, um, called Moonlight. So right now I'm going to activate GameStream on GeForce Experience on my computer. Just for those that are curious, my computer has um, the GTX 970, so it's not a new card, not a new GPU by any means. And this is like a $40 Android box from two years ago. It has the S905X chipset, and there's the new S912, and the even newer S905X X2 which came out recently and now there's the X3 coming out actually I think it already released I'm I don't really have to keep it up to date with these Android boxes but very easy to do and another tip I almost forgot is you can actually use if you have Xbox controllers these are a little dusty um, you can actually use these with your computer I mean your computer and your Android box if it has USB ports. So this one does, it has two USB ports. So all you have to do is get this Xbox 360 receiver. Of course, if your Android box has um, Bluetooth, you can just get a Bluetooth controller and that'll probably be a lot better, but I have this stuff lying around, so why not use it? All you do is plug it in. You see now it's lit up. And we're gonna turn this on. And just like that, we have another remote. So I'm gonna open up Moonlight. You won't find many, um, if, if you were wondering, you won't find many S905X boxes. They'll have this experience. I flashed Android TV, somebody on freaktab.com. It's a forum where people post like different firmwares for um, Android boxes to help you, help it be a little easier to use. I flashed the Android, ex Android TV experience on this, so that's why it looks like this, instead of the ugly, disgusting UI that they normally come with. Um, Normally you would want to go to the plus and it will it will actually find it automatically. Actually you won't need to do the plus. It will just it will look just like this once it recognizes your computer. If it doesn't, then you could just type in the IP address of it manually. It should be in the settings somewhere. So let's run a few tests. So I'm gonna run um, a 2D game, or it's actually a 2.5D game. Uh, my friend Pedro never actually played it, but it looks really fun. I have these games running. You could change the settings. You could change all the settings. You could change it to. You can lower the resolution if you're dropping frames. So I have it at 1080p right now, but you can stream it at 720 or less you can change the bitrate which is basically the quality 
So you can make a bunch of adjustments to make sure that um, you're getting the best experience. It, some it's a trade-off though. Like some you might want to sacrifice quality for um, performance, but if you just have fast internet, a fast, a good GPU in your device, and a good computer, then you could probably max everything out and it'll be fine. So let's run a new game, Bananas. So this monitor is running the X96. And this monitor is running my computer. I have all the information here and rendering at almost 60 FPS. It jumps around and that is the receive time is basically the delay. So I, I tried to play Soul Calibur with my friends. It was awful because the inputs were very delayed. So it was very hard to play a game that requires like fast reflexes. Let's try this. Pretty responsive. Uh, dang, the door's locked. All right. I mean, it's not it's not perfect, but it's responsive enough. So I'm not sure what it would take. I, I would imagine I just need a better GPU to run uh, more intensive games because as you can see here frames brought, dropped by network is at 0% so that means it's my internet is the problem and it has to be the uh, the box or the software alright on to the next game Sekito is a very recent game it's very graphically intensive Alright, so we just loaded up Sekiro and the delay is a lot bigger than my friend Pedro. It's a lot longer delay, as you can see. And you can even see on the PC how much... Alright, Sekiro, I'm gonna consider that unplayable. Here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to lower the resolution, see if that helps. Lower the bitrate, maybe that will enhance our performance. All right, so we put the resolution to 720p from 1080. Um, the bitrate was already low, I think it automatically adjusts that. And um, let's see. Much more responsive, a lot less delay. You can see the delay here, so we have a delay of about three milliseconds. Um, once you get to about 10 and up, it's, it's a lot notice more noticeable. And we, we set the frame rate down to 30 from 60. Um, it's a lot better now. Good job, oh, you got me. All right, so now it's definitely playable. We just have to make some adjustments. On to the next game. All right, now we're running control and seems to be working pretty well. Pretty responsive. Alright, so at 720p and 30 frames per second, we definitely have enough power to run even larger games like Control. So the possibilities are kind of endless with these things. I mean, if you have a higher end device, like um, something with a more powerful GPU in it, I'm not sure what TV boxes do, but then I would imagine you will be able to um, run your games at a higher resolution and a higher frame rate. But this works like a charm, as long as you have a controller to play with and uh, a PC with games. 
an Android TV box, you're good to go.